In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use NordVPN for watching the different versions of Netflix. And I'll also be connecting to a couple of different locations and playing a little bit of Netflix in real time, just so you guys can see the exact process. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to dive straight into this video and I've gone and opened up NordVPN on my laptop. So to go and unblock the different versions of Netflix with NordVPN, pretty much all you have to do is just go and search for the particular location that you would like to watch. Um, so at the moment I'm in Australia, so I miss out on heaps of TV shows and movies that can only be found in other locations. And just to show you guys an example of this, I'll go and search for the United Kingdom. So I'll go and search for that one, click on that location, and this will just take a couple of moments to connect to me. And if you guys do want to follow along, I do have a massive 70% discount link down below in the video description. So once this is now highlighted in green, this just notifies me that my entire computer is now connected to a server in the UK. So I'll go back to Netflix and I'll refresh my browser. And this will just take a couple of moments to load and this will now enable me to go watch the British uh, base version of Netflix. So I'll just give this a couple more moments. So now I'm here guys, the front page of Netflix instantly changes. I now have access to TV shows um, like Fargo, movies like Jurassic Park. And just to show you some additional content that is available on this version of Netflix, I'll just go and search for Friends, as this TV show is actually still available on Netflix as long as you know where to look. So I'll just go and search for that one. And as you can see guys, we now have access to the Friends TV show. So I'm just going to go play a really small snippet of this in real time. So this won't be edited uh, whatsoever. And from my own experience, it generally does take between 5 and maybe 20 seconds for the stream to get started uh, with NordVPN and a United Kingdom based server. So as you can see guys, we're now hitting the kind of 15 second mark. So I would expect it to start loading pretty soon. And as you can see guys, this is now loading with no issues. So to show you guys another example, I'm just going to go disconnect from the United Kingdom. And I'll go and search for Spain. I'll click on that location. And the main reason I want to connect to Spain is this will allow me to go and watch movies like Lord of the Rings, uh, Harry Potter and heaps of others. And again guys, this is highlighted in green and this, this notifies me that I'm connected. So I'll go back to Netflix, refresh the browser. And again, I'll just give this a couple of moments to load. Slow this one. And now that's finished, I'll now be on the Spanish version of Netflix. And just to show you guys this, I'll go and just do a quick search for Harry Potter. Let's just search for that one. And as you can see guys, we now have access to all eight Harry Potter films. And if I scroll down a little bit further, we've also got other titles like Lord of the Rings, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Jumanji, and the list keeps going on. So again, I'm just going to go play a really small snippet of one of these TV shows in real time. And with connecting to the Spanish version of Netflix with NordVPN, I do find it's a similar speed to the UK. Um, it generally loads between five and sometimes 25 seconds on the higher end of the spectrum. Um, but as you can see guys, this is now loading with no issues. Okay, so I'm just going to show you one more example. So I'm going to disconnect and I'll go and search for the United States. I'll click on this location. And just as a quick side note guys, if any of these locations aren't working for you, one really awesome way on how to troubleshoot this issue is just by clicking on the three dots next to the country. So if I click on these, I now have connects to particular cities or even servers. So if a particular server has been blocked or maybe it's performing slowly, you can just go and connect to many on the kind of list uh, that NordVPN has, and this will allow you to really bypass all of the restrictions on Netflix. So again, guys, now we're connected to the United States. I'll go and refresh Netflix. And this will just take a couple of moments to load. And with the American Netflix, it's really awesome as you do have access to TV shows like Parks and Recreation, uh, The Office, Criminal Minds, The Blacklist, and heaps of others. So I'll just give this um, a couple of more moments to load. And I'll just go and refresh this one, as sometimes when you refresh the Netflix libraries, it does take a couple of tries um, to get onto that version. 
and sometimes the titles don't load entirely. Um, that's perfectly normal. So I should now be on the American, American version of Netflix. And to show you guys this, I'll search for the TV show The Office. So I'll just do a quick search for that one. And as you can see guys, I now have access to The Office TV show plus other titles like Parks and Recreation, uh, Better Call Saul, New Girl and the list keeps going on. So again, I'll go play a really small snippet of this TV show in real time. And with the uh, American version of Netflix, I do find it does load a little bit quicker when compared to the other countries. So as you can see from this video guys, it's very simple on connecting to the different versions of Netflix with NordVPN. So if you are looking to get started with NordVPN, I do have a massive 70% discount link down below in the video description. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Um, if you guys have any questions about VPNs, accessing the different versions of Netflix, feel free to comment down below as I'll be more than happy to help you guys out.